three stages in this exaggeration. What are the three stages? The first is the preliminary examination, which I say it is purely of a qualifying nature, but it is the most important examination unless and until you qualify. Okay, you couldn't you can't move to the next stage, which is the main examination. But that's why we call it as a main main exam. Okay. Then there is an interview test. So this is why I put it here is that. You, uh, many people think that there is only a limited thing. It's only GS. You have to talk about the general studies, right? But there is also an optional subject. That's why I showed it here, right? Where the main examination includes both the general studies as well as the optional. I'll go to the exact detail the next time, right? Then the third stage is the interview, which we call as the personality test, where <coughs> your personality is going to be evaluated. Whether this boy or girl is suitable for the particular job. Right? If I ask you what you want to become, yes, you want to become an IAS officer. Some will say that, yes, I want to be an IFS. And some people, right? I am a born police. Right? I want to be an IPS officer. Okay, right? So that all your dreams come true. But but to know that, right? Whether your personality is suitable for that. That's what it is. And I say that any personality can be suitable, provided. You mend your personality in such a way that it should fit into the job profile, right? Say physical fitting is not possible. Okay, if you need a height of 180, then you cannot grow, right? Or if you only need a height of 150, then you have to cut it down, right? Physically leave it, right? But mentally, I say that you can fit into any category. So here, height, weight, color, right? So capacity, nothing matters. All matters is what you are state of mind. Therefore, I say that first, second, and Third stage, right? Now, I say that what this examination is all about, okay? I always, right, so sat with Abdul Kalam, so who was a visionary, right? And I never say he is gone, he is still with us, right? As long as, right, so India, India, right, so becomes a superpower, I say that Abdul Kalam live in our dreams, right? Once I had an opportunity to meet him. And the advice, piece of advice he gave me is that, Kamaraj, he used to say that very mind voice, right? If you want to take your ideas, right, he said, right, ideas, right, go to the students, go to the school, tell them, right, what do you think? That, that was the thing, right? So he says, such a simple man, such a simple man. Say, when you say intellectual, such a big man, you always, right, so sit and chat with the intellectuals, big, big persons. No. He always says to whom? Little things, our people, it's small, right? So the children and the students. That was his thing, right? So that, right? Why? If I go and say this thing to a person who is already in the field for four years, now what will you say? Sir, I know this thing. What you are again repeating, right? Since you are precious, since you are precious, you are listening to it. Because you have the quest to know something. You want to understand. That's why civil service also has a mantra. What is it? Catch them and even though, right? So yes, so 21 years to 35 is the maximum, right? So actually, it is 32 for the OCs and 35 for the OBCs and 37 for the SESTs, the maximum age, right? But minimum is common for all, 21, right? Which means that, right, anyone between this age can come and prepare. But mostly, mostly, the idea is catch them young, where your mind is soft and playable and receptive. So keep your mind open, keep your mind open. That's where he says, right? The country deserves anything less than success from us. Let us aim for success. It's not some other thing. Always aim for success. Why you are here? Because you have come here to serve, serving your nations, right? Therefore, right, you need to be something more. You are a successful person, okay? And again, success is not materialistic. I am saying that it is, right? So, mental and spiritualistic. Where, right? Success, who can measure your success? Who can measure? Of course, in this examination, by the rank and other things, the whole world can measure. But that's a thing inside you, right? If I say, are you happy? What do you say? It's a relativity, right? Sometimes we may be, sometimes we may not be. Okay, right. Let me say that, right? Will Once you become a soul servant, will you be happy? Yes, the happiness. Okay, right? Okay, right? So, getting a chocolate, will it make you happy? 
Okay, this also happens. Whether this happiness or one of the same. No. Right? Watching a movie and that too beast, what do you do? It's a sad experience and bad experience. Right? Don't leave it. Right? So leave it. Now come for the thing where happy. Say happiness doesn't have any yardstick. It is measured personally. But I say, right? Whereas here, success is what? Yes. Maybe in examination, it is measured by others. How many ranks, right? So, how, what is your rank position? Yes, that is right. At the same time, it can be measured by you. Success is not for others. Success is for you. What I am saying is that not always people from outside can come and motivate you, right? Because Abdul Kalam, the words are here. Will, these words will always guide, constantly motivate you, guide you. But where lies the motivation? The self-motivation. The self-motivation is the right, starting point where you should be motivated. Right? So what is the basis of motivation, sir? What I'm going to do with this? That's a question, right? Now, again, I continue. I tell you that why you come for the civil service? Always keep in mind why you come for the civil service. Whether it gives happiness to you, satisfaction to you, or else, right? Whether you come here, come here for the sake of others. What do you think? The first thing is, right? You should always be the first thing. It is for me, for the sake of me, for my happiness, for my satisfaction. That will be the driving force. Okay, right? Now. I say, this provides an opportunity to serve the nation, not all the other things. Right? So many times I told you, and many, many old students will know. Initially, I never wanted to be in civil service. I changed my plan only in the second year of my PG preparation. In the first year, I never had plans. Right? So there is the PG first year. Then, right, so this Three years of a UG degree, I never had plans. Okay, because right, I was right. So living in a dream of a doctor, becoming a doctor. Because my family, right, because my father couldn't pursue it, he discontinued it. Right, so and my entire family wanted to be a doctor. Okay, but but I couldn't make it. Again, I missed a few marks in the medical seat. So what I said was, it was a noble service in the world. It was a noble service. In the world, where right, so you can save lives, right? Even if you are a district collector, who can save your life? A doctor can save your life, right? You can an army soldier, you can a superman, right? You can a whatever it is, who can save your life? Doctor, okay, doctor or living gods. That's what my idea is. But now you should know who is the right doctor for you, right? What is the disease? And there must be some right doctors, okay, right? Right, and they can serve people who come to them. Find a doctor, then only you can save your life. Then, who is the right? So, next best thing I, uh, I thought uh, my professor said, one of my professors said, right? He motivated me. Say, why you are like this? You are a studious boy and you have been participating in this and that, right? So, and you have the idea that because I participated in the general secretary election there, right? So, and he said, why you come for election? I want to change this thing, that thing. So, I want to serve my college, right? Therefore, right? This will be the app for you. So without any hesitation, he jumped it. Okay, because I want to So The one reason he said, still I remember, is that here, once you become a district magistrate, you are like a putti raja, a little king. I thought, okay, power. So it's not like that, he says. Right? What a raja will do? What a king will do? A king will protect his subjects. He is going to do good to all his people. But the king will know the face of all the people. No. But the people will know the king. That's what, right? Here, once you're civil servant, right? You do not know the, who the people are. But your service is going to reach the people. Thousands of people, lakhs of people, where, right? A doctor can save only a person who comes to him. Whereas a yeah, civil servant can save or uh, make an impact on the lives of a lot of people. That's what the thing is. So that is a great opportunity. It doesn't for all. Say a soldier fights in the border. Right? He has only sole reason why a soldier is placed on the border is to protect the border. Where he has to defend the country and if he's going to die, yes, it's a great sacrifice. Right? But right, I say that you are a soldier, you are a social doctor, you are an engineer, and you are a teacher. You are, you are combined into me. Right? So, day before yesterday, so I was in Karur for so meeting at the Karur district collector who happened to be my student. Right? So, while sitting in his office, right? so I see a lot of things. Right? So, was handling this and that. Some people come to meet him. Some are so right, so respectful, sir. Some are so angry. Some are so disheartened. Right. So 
and he is handling all these things and giving out instructions throughout the day. Right? So he said, so I was watching it for three hours, you know, right? So he worked up. He, he don't have time to attend the phone, right? Of course, right? Busy is not like that. The thing is that he kept himself busy in the service of the nation. Once they finished, sir, I'm free now, right? Yes, tell me, sir, what do you want to do, right? So that's it. As I say, every night I go out with the satisfaction that so I have completed this thing. So this day, he said, we have allotted right, 165 homes for the destitute people, which was in pending for three years, right? Then I reached out to the PWD department. I reached out to the social welfare department. And Hamaya come on. And this day, right, so we have finished this job. Tomorrow, we're going to issue the keys. A great satisfaction. You see, right? The smile in the face of 165 families, right? For them, who you are? God. That is it, right? So therefore, it provides an opportunity to serve the nation, right? Then you may ask, sir, IAS, right? You say IAS examination, right? But apart from IAS, there are many other services. So the civil service, right? So we, we never call it as IAS exam. We call it as a civil service examination. Where there are a number of number of right so services included in it. And every service is a topmost post or service in each and every department. Right? Say it is not only the IAS, right? there are other people who can make a difference. So, being a civil servant is not an easy task, and any civil servant is going to do the same job, maybe in other works. Right? Maybe the IAS officer is more important. That's why there is a, uh, a glamour for it. Okay, you see, Indian Foreign Service. What do you do there? Take India outside. Right, so that is right. So protecting our nation as a great nation, you so have a job to do. Police service, protecting law and order. Okay, right. Say police is what? Not beating and force. Police is what? Reforming, rehabilitation. It's a good person, right? Say after after God, if they have some problem, right? So people will pray to God, right? And if there's a legal problem, where will they go? The first and the next right, so remedy they seek is the police. So why? Because they trust you, right? Among all these services, who is in direct contact with the people? It's the police, right? The khaki. So who protect us? It has a prestige on its own, right? Why do we respect them? Not because they're wearing a uniform, but because of their service. 24 hours, rain, hot sun, summer, nothing. They always here to protect us. So there are 26 services here. And now this year, they have merged the railway account service, traffic IITS service, right, personal service, and the Indian account service, uh, that's a management service, right? and they merged it into one. So it is called IRMS, Indian Railway Management Services. So 150 posts has been added this year, right? So initially the vacancy came for 861, and now for 2022, there are 1011 vacancies. 1011 vacancies, which includes all these things, right? Now, say these are the things. Right. So, what do you know about civil service? I say it's said to be the backbone of the governance. What is that <coughs> backbone? Say, when I'm sitting, standing, Walking, right? So, which keeps me upright or which makes me walk? My spine. Okay. If there is a problem in spine, what will happen? You can't sit. You can't walk, right? So, therefore, right? Which makes you walk? Spinal cord. Everyone says that brain is important. Yes, brain is important, right? But brain is connected to the rest of the body, right? And it commands only through the spinal cord. Therefore, backbone is important. And who are the civil servants? They are like the backbone of the country. You may ask the leaders, prime ministers, right? So, CM, right? So, they do a lot of good things. Yes, they will be there, but not for long. You, they can be a prime minister, chief minister, who are they are, only when they are in power, right? And their tenure is only five years. Whereas, right? If you become a civil servant, what do you like? Suppose, imagine a situation where you have made it to end, 20 to 23 years. Your retirement age is 60. You are going to, right, serve for 30 plus years. That you are going to serve in permanent capacity. That's one thing. So that you are going to be a backbone for the development, right? Now, this, right? 
exam this is civil service that's why people come from lot of streams right so various streams and what are streams is what are the qualification any degree that's it therefore it attracts a lot of people from all the disciplines not only engineer medicine right they were professionals ba bsc right so all these things. okay now they say that right this is the plan first we should start with a planning so this this is this, this year's plan okay similarly you'll be having a next year's plan where the notification for 2023 imagine it will come in feb of 2023 here it is for 2022 now we are going to write the prelims in june five same maybe in the may last week or the june first week so next year it may happen remains in september it will be the same right and the interview in the month of january and, and february this is the scheme where the march the results will be coming okay right if, if there is no right so natural hazard or something which right so interferes this is the plan of examination but due to the covid situation for the two years there was a interruption now now right so there is no interruption that this is the scheme of things okay where for next next june prelims you are started now so you have a situation that right so you have to take the examination next year and you have to go through all the stages for which you need a preparation again i say right so and understand say without proper understanding you cannot right so go for a preparation what is understanding is about i said right the myths and truth first dispel all the myths surrounding you. then only you can get a confidence okay right so with number one right so number of people appearing and success ratio of course many people say it is the toughest examination yes the success ratio is very very meager i have shown this year there are 1011 vacancies let us say it is 1000 vacancies for which right there are lot of people ready the examination lakhs and lakhs of people therefore right let us say that if five lakh people wait the examination thousand vacancy what is the success ratio if it is a lakh one percent if it is five lakh it is 0.2 percent this is success ratio will anyone try examination or uh, anything uh, which is has only a success ratio of 0.2 they say it is a waste of time if you apply your common sense right you cannot go for such a thing is utter waste of time only 0.2 percent success Whereas if I put my effort right somewhere, then I will become a big person, something else. Okay, right? But here, this is a myth. Say the myth created by many things, right? Where it includes coaching academies too, right? The sand side is includes coaching academies too. Now they say that if you don't come to me, you can't clear. I am not the kind of guy going to say that, right? If you don't come to me, right? You got. I say right. Even if you come to me, you are not. if you have the right mind and right preparation anyone can clear say according to this very estimates the thing is 0.1 to 0.3 this is what the success ratio is now i explain you the numbers decoding it okay where number of people apply 5 lakh 50000 so it is based on the last year i think 1920 started it is given by the ups okay Number of appears, how much? Three lakh fifty thousand. Two lakh absentees. Okay. Number of people prepared, one lakh fifty thousand. Say, of course, right? Say online. I don't know exact number now. So the biggest slide. Where there are nearly be somehow sixty to seventy people who registered for the online live session. Okay. Of which by initial I see only eighteen to twenty people, which means that right. All those who apply don't write the examination. All who write, right, doesn't have the preparation. Therefore, only one lakh three thousand people prepare. And the serious candidate. So what will be, right? So the serious candidates, right? Of course, not everyone who prepares them, because first of all, they don't understand themselves and for others. Some people come into study. Say, I, right? So don't discard. I'll say that, right? You. Need at least three years of preparation from the start. Don't plan now. I used to say that. It at least three years to prepare. Why? Because I sense certain things. You are a slow learner, right? That's why 
if it takes six months for some people to learn it it will take one year for it to do that therefore again right so you have to run in such a way yes yes so you have to go in such a way that right you have to prolong your preparation because right your personality is like this right i, I didn't judge people but the thing is that the thing is that right you should know yourself right so you should you should be the best best judge for your understand so what's the thing yes right i am this and this so the personal understanding is the first point yes i understood myself where right here only 50000 people who know themselves as well as the system so understanding the system is primary yes what upsc expects from me whether i can meet my meet the expectations of upsc okay and out of this 50000 i say what is the number of people final vacancy 1000 now look at the chances what are chances 50 is to 1 i brought it to 2% you brought it to 2% now again this is the final stage but there are three stages of examination prelims mains and inter the prelims stage right the number of intake will be 1 is to 13 13 times of the actual vacancy so now it is 1000 then it is only 13000 so out of 50000 how many people are going to be there 13000 so almost it is 1 is to 4 it's not over 1 is to 50 it is 1 is to 4 then within the 13 right so what 2.9 right percentage or 2.9 ratio will be taken for the interview so it's like 2900 out of 13000 then the 2900 it will be 1000 so at last the success ratio will be 40 this is what. so now you see the myth has been decodified it is not 0.2% or 0.1% it is what it is 25 percent you look at this the real competition is one is two this is for the real competition i am assuming it's a thousand vacancy as such this year okay right the serious candidate has 25 percent chance of clearing this exam now what do you say initially it was 0.2 percent right so it's a myth but a serious candidate have 25 percent chance if you are a serious candidate now again saying serious which means preparation okay right now say the next syllabus is vast and not well defined i would say that it is not that's why we are here that's why we are here right say if you look at the upsc notification it's been well defined prelim syllabus has been given mains has been given the pattern of examination has been given everything has been given right now right what or how we are going to approach the syllabus? That's what it is. So an understanding should be there. So where many people say it's vast, it is huge, right? It's not well defined. You see, the truth is the UPC comes with a defined syllabus in each and every stage. Okay. The syllabus for films is mostly higher secondary level with some questions at the graduate level. Of course, what is the qualification of the examination? It is graduate. So yeah, graduate level. Okay, right. The, the syllabus for sorry the upsc never goes out of the syllabus i will tell you questions right so where it is always it is always within the syllabus the questions will be asked but there are two types of questions you have to understand one is the static part other is the dynamic part so for example example right we have a syllabus right so general studies economics part is there in economics there is a topic called inflation inflation is a concept as well as right inflation is a dynamic concept where the inflation goes on increasing or decreasing derivative where you should be aware of the concept and the dynamics of this concept that is right there it needs extraordinary intelligence it needs extraordinary intelligence right so whether your mentor looks like an extraordinary intelligent man i have doubt okay right even i have the same doubt even i have the same doubt where it is not about an extraordinary intelligence, right? Doesn't mean that, right? So uh, people are not intelligent. Yes, the soul servants, right? So are intelligent. The thing is that many people has a wrong assumption. I can't do it. Right? It is for people, right? So some uh, higher level, IITNs, IIM. It's not like that. It is for all. So I say so, right? So here, the I have taken the word from the UPSC notification. It's not my own word. It says the nature and shadow of the questions will be such that a well-educated person will be able to answer them without any specialized 
study. Okay. So I should have the UPSC notification. A well educated person. Right. I many times asked you, used to ask you, are you well educated? Okay. The answer will be no. We say we are graduates, we are educated. No. I say no. Because education is not what you study. Education is what you become. What you become. Okay. Right. Now, what do you become? Do you know all things? Do you know the right facts? Of course, you may know the facts. But do you know the reasons? Can you explain the causes? No. That's what the thing is. So that you have to go for uh, education account. And this education needs a lot of things. Learning as well as unlearning. Right? That. Need to study many books. Yes. So you have seen an UPSC aspirant's room. Right? You don't want to be neat and tidy. If it is neat and tidy, then he is not an aspirant at all. Right? So, how about it? So, geography books here, history books there. Right? So, it will be like this. So, some mountains of books everywhere. Map charts. Right? Here and there. So, if you enter a room, if a new aspirant enters a, right, a room of a veteran, what do you feel like? In the field of a I, I don't need this field at all. Right? But again, I say that, isn't it? Say, while we prepare, we do not know what the source is. Okay, there is no Google, I said, right? right? So, what I did? We searched on our own. We have a limited source where, right? So, we used to study the book again and again. I always used to say my students, right? If you read a book, for at least four to five times. What will happen? You get a better idea of that book. Right? You just write to you that. If you study five books one time each, what will happen? Nothing from the five books. Right? Therefore, right? So I used to say that, right? There are a the minimum number of books. Maybe in your preparation time, hardly you complete 20 to 25 books. Hardly you complete in the preparation of over this. Thing. The college time, what you studied? More than that. Right? Then newspaper and the other things. Okay. So uh, I say it's a minimax strategy. With minimum input, you can take the maximum. Right? So nothing but the right source material. If you know what's the right source material, just stick to one. Just stick to one. What's the right source material we say? NCIT. That's why I say NCIT. So because it is available throughout India. Because the state board books are not everywhere. Whereas NCIT is throughout India. So you see, what is the right source? The source material is not fixed. You see, the universal truth is NCRT as a base. But doesn't mean the questions will be the right, same as NCRT. It gives you only an understanding, right? So it's not a school examination. It's not a neat examination. It is something more than that. So that it is NCRT. Then, right? Apart from NCRT, some standard books along with newspaper readings and searching the net is seen. Again, I say. A well educated person. That's the question. That's the thing. Right? So that you have to be well educated. So nothing more than that. What is education? I'll come to that, right? First to finish, right? Then it needs a good educational background. A good educational background. Your father and mother, right? So would be a graduates, right? And you should be a postgraduate, right? So your family is an intellectual family where you always have a tea time with a Hindu paper in your hand. You'll be discussing. The Russian and Ukraine war throughout your family, it is not like that. It is not like that. When the result comes, you can see, right? Whoever made into the UPSC examination, he say, right? The son of a Rishamala, becomes an IAS officer, right? So a person, a girl, right? So who studied the railway station in the light available because she had no current in her house, right? So she became an IPS officer. You come with a lot of inspiration stories. Why is it possible? Because it is not about education. Again, I say, right? Who you are. Okay. So you see, any well educated and well informed person can clear this examination. Where is it? Okay. Right? People from all the disciplines clear. Right? Now, the next. Only urban students can clear. Okay. Not from the village. Right? So here I say that, right? The truth. You look at the truth. Statistics say that 62% of people who clear were from rural background, who come to city for preparation. Because why? The guidance and the coaching is available only in the cities, unfortunately. Right? Right? So, of course, we want to go to the rural center. But still, right? So, 
it is not possible and why therefore the coaching institutes are being concentrated in the cities and that it gives an image that only city students can clear not it is that the rural students who come to city and what about the city students they prefer for other carries right so they don't want to be a civil servant they know right they always want to because they have a, a school life they have imagination where right one thing is that why do we <coughs> study why because right right from the our childhood times we have been told that only when you study well you will get a job only when you study well you get a job and settle in your life settlement and studying is not all connected education is no way connected to your settlement right so what is a right so education qualification of mark zuckerberg what is the education qualification your college dropout okay a high school dropout and who is this right bill gates again a college dropout okay right now how can you link right good education with your career it is not right therefore i say that it is not at all doesn't matter at all that exam is very tough yes here i am not going to make it right it is, it is tough right but it is not as tough as you think right you should do certain things <coughs> where it's not a college examination it is unlike your college examination where you are going to put a lot of effort so because you are going to achieve one of the topmost post in india for which it demands certain preparation that's why i said what is it preparation is not ordinary preparation first preparation you should sweat out that's what the preparation but here i say that i right, will make it easy for you you understand that the mains right the level higher than the bachelor's degree and lower than the master's degree you are not getting it so therefore you are not graduates you can easily handle it then the questions are likely to test the candidates basic understanding of all relevant issues and ability to analyze okay you see a basic understanding of all relevant issues and relevant issues not, not other issues right and ability to analyze and take a view on conflicting socio economic goals objectives and demands say <clears throat> when you become a police officer let me say for an example right two people are come to you regarding a dispute a rich man right wearing a poor suit and coming in the bins and a poor man so wearing a right so a soiled shirt right what is the initial right idea comes to your mind on whose side the justice is whose side you always think that rich people always tend to violate laws right but there is also a saying that the poor people will break the laws what do you say now is rich or poor it is not so right it is neither the rich nor the poor you see right so there are various conflicting things your idea should not be prejudiced so it is here you are needed right you should not be one sided you should take decision such a way that it is objective but at the time mostly you should be pro poor pro poor in the sense you are come here to protect the poorest of the poor people of this country what is the priority and how you are going to do that right that it needs long time preparation long time preparation we had a friend right i don't want to uh, give his name but now he is in bangalore he is in karnataka cadre who got into the service in his last attempt okay yes of course i have a great respect for him because i couldn't make it in the last attempt but he made it right where we used to say him but he is a super senior we say right g you came to preparation at the eighth plan right now right the 12th plan is running so you you put an decadal effort we say you put an decadal effort you deserve it you used to say that okay right but here it is not about decadal effort right if your preparation is planned and simple i say that the ideal time is one year of you take the point consistent preparation not some half baked preparation it should be consistent right what is consistency keeping the tempo throughout your preparation right not going back not looking back not taking break of course breaks are needed but the break should be what rejuvenating and refreshing okay right so again you should come back and hit okay 
say you can't get six in all the ball two balls you have to duck out then should look for the right ball and go for a six that's what i think so that, that should be consistent uh, but given the current pattern because the upsc want quick results but a span of 10 to 14 months our pcm course prepares for a span of 14 months okay where seven months for prelims and seven months for mains is ideal right but again there are no hard and fast rules right i said if you are a slow learner it may take time now there's nothing wrong in it what is our aim this is a marathon race is not a sprint race therefore to win the race is five minutes you can take your own time for others some people are maybe right so they have an right extraordinary billions right so where they can complete in 10 months it's up to right there's 10 months or 14 months or three years whatever thing is right but the ultimate thing is you're going to clear it okay then the conclusion what is it any well educated and well informed person can clear any well educated and well informed person can clear yes you are educated but uh, well educated so we are going to make you well educated okay so you are informed they are well informed what do you know about the ukraine russia crisis why it happens whether right russia and ukraine will be friends again what america's role in there right what india is going to do you have the information you should right and you will well, well, well preparation after preparation definitely you will right and this is what a person every education will come this a person who understand himself and the system because you're going to come into system this is like a system once you fit into the system the system will automatically lift you and put you in the right place if you are in the right preparation that is what okay right